Hi, and today I'm going to show you how we can use a wiki page library in an Office 365 site. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that our wiki page library is loaded. So we add this app the same as we'd add any other app and we just click on wiki page library. You can call it whatever name you like because we can give it a friendly name. I use this quite a lot if I'm doing a one-off lesson on projects. So I'm going to call this River Investigation and click oh, Create and that's now going to insert that wiki page library into my Office 365 site. Now to load the wiki page library I'm going to click on it on the left hand side and you'll notice this does something different to most apps. It's actually going to change the top um, of my navigation on the left hand side to the pages that are in that wiki library. I quite often, as I say, use this for one-off lessons. So, for example, I did a lesson recently with a river investigation where each class uh, created their own wiki page to do with different animals that they found in a river. So they each took an animal, they called the page the name of the animal, and then they put some pictures and information about that. There is an option to use a OneNote, but I find that they enjoy doing something different with this. And actually, as we were creating a sort of how-to help guide on the different animals you might spot in a river, this was more appropriate. Nice and easy to work with a wiki page guide because we do it all from our cog. So if I click on the cog and then click add page, that will allow me to add a new page to my wiki library. So uh, I'll just call it fish for a second and click create. And you'll now see that fish is going to pop up in the top because there's now a new wiki page called fish. If I want to get rid of a page, so if I don't like the home page anymore, or if I want to edit the home page, I'm going to click on the cog again, and then I'm going to click edit page. And that's now going to let me change all the text, so I can type and add to this whatever I want. If I decide I completely don't want the page anymore, um, and depending on the permission students have got, they might or might not be able to do this, I'm going to click on page, and then I'm going to click on delete page. And that, as I say, after you click OK, is going to completely get rid of that page from our wiki library and that is how we use the wiki page library in office 365